Hi, my name is Keith McBree from Team Liquid, and this is my basic champion guide to Cogmall. For runes, I use damage reds, armor yellows, magic resist blues, and attack speed quins. For masteries, I use 2190, especially spell weaving and blade weaving, because Cogmall is a caster AD, so you want to auto attack in between your casting your skills in order to maximize your damage. At level 2, I skill E, and at level 3, I skill Q because 2 points in W makes little to no difference, whereas a point in Q can make the difference. For level 1, you want to skill W because you need the range and damage in lane. Generally, I max W first for maximum range and damage, and then I max E to self peel. But if I feel like there's no threat on me, then I max Q second for the attack speed. Start with Dorn's Blade and a pot because that's the standard item for uh, an AD and rush Triforce as your first item. After you get your Triforce, you should finish up your boots and look to get Blade of the Rune King because of the huge percent damage and attack speed. Depending on the enemy team, your third item should either be QSS or Phantom Dancer. Phantom Dancer actually does more damage than Lasso through. You want Phantom Dancer over Static Shiv as Cogmall because Cogmall is a consistent damage dealing AD carry. Phantom Dancer with his 35% crit is better for Cogmall because Static Shiv is more for burst AD carries. After you get your Phantom Dancer and QSS, you want to finish up with Infinity Edge and then finally upgrade your QSS to Mercurial Scimitar. Cogmall isn't that bad in solo queue, but he's very vulnerable to hard engage, so you need to rely on your teammates. Try to focus on farming well and, and not dying to ganks. If you can survive the laning phase, you'll be able to carry in the late game. Some supports that are good with Cogmall are Nami and Janna because of their laning power. Honestly, there are no terrible matchups for Cogmall unless, of course, you get hooked by a Thresh or a Blitzcrank. For laning, use your E and the range on your W to poke. Make sure not to miss CS and also watch for all-ins. Keep space between you and the enemy support to avoid all-ins. In general, you don't want to push the lane because you'll be very easy to gank. Try to only hit the minions right before they're about to die and keep the wave near your tower. Once you have Triforce and level 6, you can win duels. Cast your spells in between your auto attacks so that you're always procking your Trinity Force. One trick when you have your Trinity Force is that you can auto attack and then cast your ultimate and it will proc the Triforce. When your W is down, play passive because you're way weaker. Wait for your W to be back up and then you can trade or duel effectively. Always move by attacking and usually you'll be cutting away from the enemy team's damage dealers. Use summoner spells accordingly to position yourself. If there's no threat on you, don't be afraid to flash forward and ult the squishy targets. So since you have your W and your Buddy the Rune King, your percent damage is incre incredibly high. So you want to always, if you can, try to hit the tanks because you can shred them really fast. If your support is peeling for you and you feel that you won't die, you can play aggressive. Get as many auto attacks off as you can and use your Q as it amplifies your damage really well. At level 16, your ult range is ridiculously high. You can use this to poke down the enemy AD carry or mid laner in the mid to late game. Also, you can use your ult to check brushes so that you won't die face checking. But don't let the mana cost of your ult get too high or you'll run out of mana for team fights. The combo I always use for maximum damage is auto attack, E, R, auto and then Q because you want to make sure that your damage dealing abilities hit first. Using your Q only really matters against tanks to shred armor. If you're really far away from an enemy, you can use your ult first to deal damage and then follow up by using your other abilities. Thanks for watching my Cogmall guide. Make sure to follow my Twitter at liquidkeith.